Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 AI Bots cast. We have got ourselves a mirrored matchup. It's actually a Protoss versus Protoss. I just cast a Terran versus Terran. Most importantly though, it is a bot against a bot. <laughs> Sharpened Edge saying this toy contains a functional sharp edge slash point, not for children under four years old. Sharkbot says, am I old enough? <laughs> so these bots clearly have a history. I wonder if they're developed by the same person or not. Uh, but I don't. I actually don't know how old Sharkbot or Sharpened Edge are. Some of these SC2 AIs are getting older and uh, more and more development has been put into them. So that's very exciting to see as these bots develop. Uh, who knows how good they'll be by the time they're 18. Uh, no human may be able to beat some of them. So we take a look here. We have got double gateways from Sharpened Edge, the more traditional Protoss versus Protoss opening. Whereas Sharpened Edge, uh, yeah, Sharkbot said aggressive expand Prism Stalker opening. So presumably two gates into a Robo, into a Nexus, into a Prism, that sort of thing. Potentially the Nexus before one of those. We have got Probe Harassment, as you should in PvP. We actually have a Gas Steal from Sharkbot. Oh, that's a good move. We don't see that a lot. Uh, I guess Sharpened Edge, maybe not having behavior to counter that, but I think that's a good, that's a darn good move. In PvP, I think it's kind of a consensus that if your gas gets stolen, you really just are in a bad spot. There's not a whole lot you can do about it, because you either gotta pull probes or make a zealot, neither of which are ideal, at least in my experience. Now, that being said, there's a lot of probes off the line chasing the one that belongs to Sharpened Edge. But, yeah, Sharpened Edge is probably just going to have to expand while it's uh, waiting for its gas to get out. It's gone for two adepts. Those aren't good at killing an, killing an assimilator. So, it's going to be at least a while before Sharpened Edge has got a lot of gas. So, well done to Sharkbot, which is building up a nice wall at its natural base. Getting that uh, Nexus up. So it's got the quicker expand. It is going to have the slower units as a result, but as long as it's got some sort of defense to deal with this adept harassment, it should be fine. One of these adepts is actually going to hit this assimilator, which is not ideal, as when you move across the map with your adepts, you generally want both of them there. But it looks like Sharpened Edge is just keeping one of these guys at its uh, at his natural and one in the main shading around this assimilator. It's, it's a big, big delay, though, so great move. We have actually got a full wall off by Sharkbot at the natural base, a shield battery. We'll see if this potentially glitches it out, if it's going to rally units, not be able to get them out, or if it'll cancel the battery or kill the battery, that sort of thing later in the game. That's a big question. If you've got the bot author, if the bot authors program the bot to do this, there's obviously going to be a follow-up. Which I think there should be, unless, of course, this was just a big old mistake going for this battery at the, in the wall and not cancelling it. I'm not too sure about the mechanics there. I think we've made it three and a half minutes into this video, as I'm just so excited to cast this without saying, hit that like button, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't already, leave a comment down below, subscribe, join the Discord, which is linked down below. All the good stuff's in the description. Uh, consider becoming a YouTube member. I've set the goal of one video a month per member, so we're currently doing eight videos a month, and it really is a good way to support the channel, support the coffee that fuels these casts. That assimilator is finally killed. Okay, another assimilator was taken by Sharpened Edge, but we see it. I mean, this bot was on one gas for the first four minutes of the game. Really not ideal. Now, I mean, the bot has macroed up fairly well, Regardless, it's not like that was a big, big issue or anything like that. We see Sharkbot getting up its warp gate, getting a prism on the way. Sharpened Edge said it was going for, I believe, a prism stalker. Or a oh no, that was actually Sharkbot that said that. Pardon me. Sharkbot now killing off that shield battery, but then pops a battery overcharge. Oh, that's a bit funny. Uh, that's a bit funny. It injured its own building, then it's like, I need a battery overcharge because something's in the red. I assume that's what happened. We've got this Adept now shading into the natural base, it looks like, so Sharkbot's got to respond to that. This one Adept could cause a lot of problems 
Actually, these two adepts, pardon me, could cause a lot of problems if they uh, keep tagging the army, but they do get cleaned up. Looks like Sharpened Edge has developed a hatred for its own buildings as it kills another of its own batteries. I guess that was blocking, maybe? Uh, I don't know if it actually was, though, or not. Anyway, so... That was that was quite interesting. So much is going on this game. It's really hard, really hard to keep up. I wonder how uh, how Sharkbot calculates like uh, the pathing, getting its units by that sort of thing. We see a third base going up for the Protoss bot. There really hasn't been too much aggression on either side. I know I just said a third base for the Protoss bot. While incorrect of what I meant to say, it was actually true because both bots are going for a third base. Both of them are building up in supply. It looks like Sharpened Edge has actually been macroing a little bit harder. So while it had that gas deal, it just kept on keeping on. Chrono boosting out lots of probes. Sharkbot is still uh, still just mining away, but definitely down on the economy a little bit. Investing maybe in some more expensive units, the couple of mortals, that sort of thing. But regardless, we see Sharkbot saying tag. ES2 base. I don't know what the ES means. There's an Oracle actually out for Sharpened Edge as it invested in a Stargate. Hasn't really used it for, well, just the Oracles so far. But quite delayed, but still could definitely get something done. The main base really is undefended for Sharkbot. So in comes the Oracle, in comes the Phoenix. Is there going to be any harassment defense by the Red Bot? It looks like nothing too major yet, but of course, keep in mind this is a bot controlling the Oracle. Like, did hear on, while I was casting probots that I believe uh, Sharpened Edge, or th or there's only a handful of bots that actually utilize Oracle Micro, and I mean we saw it only get one kill there, then get killed off. So that kind of shows there may be a lot of work for some bot authors to do with an Oracle. Makes you wonder if Oracle Control would be one of those things that you could really do through machine learning. We saw Alpha Star had pretty darn good Oracle Control back in the day. Uh, of course, just as an individual bot author, that is a whole other undertaking to program that. We see a disruptor on the way for shark bots, so playing very traditional PvP, heavy on the robo effect, where another disruptor is already out. A void ray is being produced by Sharpened Edge. I believe that's the second one, so it is going to have quite an air force. Fourth Nexus going up, and yeah, just a very respectful macro game between these bots. Sharpen, shark bot, pardon me is behind quite a bit, however, in the economy, and it really goes to show some bots just macro way better, way more greedy, greedy than others, and they seem to be the bots that win these days. Like, the ages of bots cheesing out other bots horribly seems to be past. Like, of course, some games do end earlier, but... Oh, that disruptor hit! Oh my gosh, zero micro from Sharpened Edge. It just ran its whole army into Shark. Oh my gosh, those disruptor hits. How many kills did that get? We saw three on one and 14 on another. 14... Oh my gosh, that is so disgusting. I did like I'm like uh oh, we'll see what the disruptors do focusing on the void rays it's gonna need anti-air and then the disruptors just killed like uh, some like nine stalkers eight zealots the two adepts were already dead but that is ridiculous now I mean funnily enough sharpened edge still has a worker lead and an army supply lead potentially a composition lead as it goes heavy into the void rays but we do see sharkbot go for its own stargate getting up size storm actually Interestingly enough, the two immortals are in the prism, but wow, that was a big disruptor hit. I mean, if, if Sharkbot hadn't got a disruptor hit like that, I'd say 100% the blue bot's in a fantastic spot. That evens things up a little bit, particularly with the possibility of more disruptor hits down the line. There currently is three disruptors out. A fleet beacon on the way, an extra stargate on the way for Sharkbot. Very interesting positioning for those, I'll say. I'm not sure what the decision is there, but there be the buildings. A fourth Nexus on the way for the red bot, and yeah, oh my gosh, those disruptors were crazy. Both bots are going into the into the Stargates and Fleet Beacon, but there's a def definite lead for Sharpened Edge with already four Void Rays out, two more about to pop, so it's going to have a six Void Ray lead in an air versus air fight. Of course, if the disruptors kill all the stalkers, that'll really change things up. But the economy of Sharkbot just sucks compared to the one of Sharpened Edge. Fifth base going up for the blue bot, only four up. 
for Sharkbot. We see a two Tempest on the way for Sharkbot, so go on a different route than the Void Rays. There is no High Templar out, even though Psystorm was researched. We'll see if any of those boys get produced at some point. But this game is going on just a big old macro fest, a PvP. I don't think I've seen too many of these. Tempest are another area that we could see some bots really shine, as uh, there hasn't been too much development into them from a lot of bot authors, so... This is very exciting. We're seeing batteries go up to defend this base, which is nice to see from Sharkbot, but there really hasn't been any harassment in this game. These bots are now skirmishing each other. Prism gets deleted with two Immortals in it. The Void Ray's Prismatic Overcharge, but that doesn't really do too much against the Prism, but they still cut through it like nothing. Now the Disruptors and Stalkers have to defend all of a sudden. There's two Tempest out for Sharkbot, but there's multiple more Tempest on the way for Shark Edge. Disruptors do get some decent connections. Another one goes in. There's a bit of splitting, but not enough, as those were some big connections, really deleting a lot of the ground force. Battery overcharges pop. Tempest are working away on the Void Rays. There's still a decent number of Stalkers on the ground for Sharkbot as it's a big engagement by Sharpened Edge. Tempest doing what they can. The Disruptors will be coming off cooldown soon. We'll see if they can get some decent shots off hitting some of the Zealots. The Tempest are working through the Void Rays, albeit slowly. The probe count has gone up for Sharkbot, almost tying that of Sharpened Edge, but it's dropping now as these Void Rays, Stalkers, and Zealots are doing work for the Blue Bot. Now there's Tempest out for Sharpened Edge as well. They're just working on a building. We see uh, Sharkbot taking its sweet time to clean this up. The army positioning is not looking too good here as another carrier, or as the first carrier pops out. A Disruptor gets a good connection, killing off some of the Stalkers. Tempest are engaging each other. One Tempest for one Tempest, however, I don't think benefits sh benefits Sharkbot at this point as Sharpened Edge is producing a lot more. The blue bot does get pushed away, however. Stalkers are engaging this Tempest. Looks like they will take it down. That's good to see. Potentially a counterattack from Sharkbot, but I don't think it's got the juice for this. Uh, unless there's some more massive disruptor connections, and I won't rule that out. There's a disruptor. There's the Nova. Is it going to connect? It gets picked off in time by Sharpened Edge. That is a huge shutdown. That could have killed like all the Stalkers and really evened up the army supply. Looks like Sharpened Edge may be losing a base here. However, when it's one base to one base, that benefits the bot with more bases, and that is Sharpened Edge. We see more Disruptor Novas going out, hitting some Zealots. The control by the AI is huge, but yeah, the, the air fleet is looking more impressive for Sharpened Edge. That Nexus does go down. That's very unfortunate for uh, Sharkbot, but... Yeah, it looks like uh, Sharpened Edge is doing a little bit better. I don't even know if this Nexus is going to die as these Tempests come in. They're shooting away at the Colossus. There's only one Tempest for Sharkbot. Maybe it should just go home, but these Disruptors are hovering on the Nexus, mainly because they don't have an attack. The base back at home is taking a lot of heat for Sharkbot. There is Zealots out. There is, a, there is Charge out, but they're just not getting the damage done they need. The Tempest, I believe, has gone home, but then, yeah, it's just too much for the blue bot, it looks like. The macro, not quite effective enough. A fourth base is being attempted, and I was very excited for a late game with the uh, Shark Bot versus, versus Sharpened Edge, but, yeah, the focus on macro, a little bit too good, and it really goes to show how the little things add up. Sharpened Edge producing way more air units. The Disruptors were the best part of Shark Bot. Great to see a bot using those. And if it macroed a little bit harder and added in one or two of those disruptors, I think it absolutely could have won this game. But in the end, it looks like it's too much for the blue bot or too much for the red bot, too much from the blue bot. And yeah, hit that like button if you enjoyed this one, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, we watch these Tempests slowly eat through everything. The army control was looking pretty good for these bots, but uh, in the end, yeah, that's going to be GG. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for tuning in.